Hey everyone, so in this video we'll be talking about torsion function. So basically this is a pretty quick video and a pretty basic one. So what torsion function is, is basically if you, uh, it is denoted by a symbol phi or phi like this. So phi of 8 basically means, uh, gives a result of 4 which basically means number up to 8 that are relatively co-prime with 8. So what I mean is 8 and number up to 8 like 3 and 8 are prime with each other they do not share any common factors right 8 and 5 are prime with each other 8 and 7 are prime with each other like co-prime with each other with respect to each other so all the number up till 8 that are relatively co-prime to each other are basically num it basically gives the count of the number that are relatively co-prime with each other up till that integer n okay so similarly phi of 9 would be 6 so this is basically there is a formal formula for calculating this function phi or phi so phi of n is basically n multiplied by 1 minus 1 by p1 multiplied with 1 by 1 by p2 and so on up till 1 minus 1 by pk so what this is p1 p2 p3 so p1 is equal so basically n can be represented as prime of 1 with a1 power multiplied with prime 2 with a2 power and so on up till prime k with a k power so basically prime 1 is let's say 8 so for 8 we can represent it is as 2 with power of 3 for 6 we can represent it 2 with the power of 1 multiplied with 3 as a, with the power of 1 so we can represent any natural number n as some primes so basically multiples of some primes so this is prime 1 prime 2 prime 3 so basically these are these primes and as many prime as a number has so basically if we use this same function for 8 we'll get 8 multiplied with 1 minus 1 by 2 so this is 8 divided by half which is 4 right for for let's say 9 it would be 9 has 3 raised to the power 2 3 is the only prime so it would be 9 multiplied by 1 minus 1 by 3 which is 9 multiplied by 2 by 3 which is 6 so phi of 9 is equal to 6 so that is how we calculate this function phi for any number n and again this number gives the number of co primes with that particular number n up till that number so basically all the number before 9 which are co prime with this 9 it gives you count of all those numbers not some but the count of all all those numbers so I'll also move to the coding part now but this is the basic concept and it is used sometimes in competitive programming questions hey everyone welcome to the coding part of the torsion function so to find a torsion function for a number n let's say for 8 we need to first initialize our array let's name it as 5 and let it be new integer of n plus 12 variable right so after this we can have for int i equals to 2 up till i is less than equal to n and i plus plus and we can have phi of i is equals to 1 oh sorry i right so initially we are given giving phi i phi i a value of i and then for every integer i from 2 again up till n i plus plus we can change this value if this value ph of i phi of i is equals to i that means we were we just had initialized it and this time we are starting the loop from like this time also we are starting the loop from 2 then we'll have a inner loop from i j equals to i j will be less than equal to n and j 
plus equals to i and then we will have phi of j is equals to phi of j divided by i and multiplied with i minus 1. Let's output after this phi of 8 to check our answers. Now this is giving me an error. Let's create it like this. Okay. So let's run and try it. So the code gave answer as 4. Let's change it to 9. I have not saved it. Let's run it again. Um, let's run it again. I did not change the value. What is the issue this time? Save. Run. Oh, I am outputting 5 of 8 holes still. It should be 5 of 9. 6. So the answer is correct. So the code works, but this is the code to calculate the phi function. So see you in the next video.